about me, myself, and I. Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Aisha, if you're new here. And it is a long weekend. It is a Monday, and I do not have to do as much work as I normally do. So I'm taking today as like a me day. I woke up and I literally sat on my couch for like two hours before doing absolutely anything. And today was also wash day for my hair. So made my hair all clean, I deep conditioned. I actually styled it curly today. I am notorious for just like blow drying or like blowing out my hair. But today just felt like a curly day. And um, yeah, it's all under here now, so the curls aren't really like flourishing, but they were flourishing a minute ago. So I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna share some products that I use for my hair. But before I do that, I actually haven't cleansed my skin yet. And I don't know if you can see, my skin looks very dry. And then I just wanna take a second to cleanse my skin because anytime I do hair and like put a bunch of like hair products and conditioner and all that, I love to just like do a deep cleanse afterwards of my skin because if you don't that is actually like a huge cause of acne especially if you notice you get a lot of acne around your hairline um, or bumps or whatever it's just a lot of like congestion because your hair products usually settle over here and then if you don't cleanse them off they're just like seeping into your skin and it's meant for your hair not your skin so I'm gonna just quickly cleanse and this is just the cleanser that I uh, keep next to my sink. It's like pretty much almost done, but this is the Biosan Squalene Amino Aloe Gel Cleanser. I just find it's very gentle. Like it's a very gentle cleanser. It doesn't leave my skin stripped or anything. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna do two pumps of that. It's kind of like a clear cleanser and then just massage that. And I kind of just focus it here, like where all the product is. And I do want to give a shout out to Biosons for sponsoring this portion of today's video. We love Biosons over here. I'm sure you know if you've been a part of my channel for a long time. So this is the new Biosan Squalane Plus Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. It looks like this. And it is a gorgeous product. Like this is basically their hyaluronic acid serum which Biosense has never come out with like their own distinct hyaluronic acid. So I'm guessing they're just like perfecting, I was gonna say the recipe, but I guess you can call it a skincare recipe. What I really actually love that they did with this product is not only did they include hyaluronic acid, which we all have heard millions and millions of things about, hyaluronic acid is great for your skin, it's great at like retaining moisture, but it actually has um, polyglutamic acid. If you haven't heard of polyglutamic acid, it is actually like a lot stronger than hyaluronic acid at actually just like making sure all of the moisture in your skin is locked in. Um, so when you pair them together, it's actually just like the best like hydration recipe for your face. And then of course it has, you know, their um, squalene, their famous squalene that's in all of their products, which is just a beautiful, you know, ingredient to help with moisture in your skin as well. So I like to take like a full dropper and like apply that into my skin. And you can kind of feel and like see the instant moisture. Now it's not one of those products that's gonna leave your skin like super shiny and glowy, but you are gonna feel the hydration. Like your skin instantly absorbs it and it just gives you all the hydration that you need, especially, you know, for the winter months. My skin always gets super, super dry. So I just really love that. And I feel like because it absorbs so quickly, this is amazing for all skin types. Um, it's not gonna make your face feel oily or anything. So absolutely love this. And of course, Biosense is like super, super clean. They're one of the cleanest skincare brands on the market. Um, and then they also are plant-derived squalene, so it's not gonna be, you know, it's gonna be cruelty-free. It's vegan, and um, we just love her. We love Biosons. So if you guys wanna check out their new serum, I'm gonna have it linked down below, and then I also do have a code with Biosons. I always forget to mention this, but if you use my name, Aisha Harun, you'll get 20% off the entire purchase of a full uh, price item. So if you get one of these, you can get 20% off, and then, you know, any other products you would like to pick up from Biosons, um, like the serum I just used, um, and I, you know, I love a lot of Biosense products, so like their lactic acid, et cetera, et cetera. I'm actually just gonna continue on with Biosense. I'm gonna use their um, peptide eye gel, one of my favorite eye serums or gels, just because I feel like it like truly helps with dark circles. Um, but anyways, back to my hair. So um, I used all the products that I mentioned in my shower video. 
um, like the shampoo, the like leave-in conditioner, or the uh, conditioner and stuff. But today, since I wanted to wear my hair curly and not like put heat on it, I actually, well, I guess I technically, I did diffuse it, which is a little bit of heat, but it's like indirect heat, you know? Anyways, moving on. Uh, Camille Rose Naturals, I've been actually using their Curl Love Moisture Milk for many, many years now, but I feel like I maybe never talked about it, or maybe I did, I don't know. But this is their rice milk and macadamia oil um scent i guess it legitimately smells like cupcakes like vanilla cream buttercream cupcakes oh my god it smells incredible and it makes your hair smell incredible too so i actually just put this on my hair when it was still wet when i was like in the shower and i just kind of used the like praying hands motion and like plumped my curls up with my pattern beauty shower brush as well and then before I actually diffuse it I just put a little bit of my old Plex number no. seven bonding oil I've had this for like over a year now and I still have like a third left which is honestly quite incredible at first when I bought this I was like this is such a ripoff because it's so tiny but it's been kind of doing wonders it's been it's been really giving what it was supposed to give um but in terms of body um i'm actually almost out of this and i just wanted to mention it again i mentioned it in my shower routine but today was a me day and like a pamper day so while my hair was uh you know soaking up all the leave-in moisture leave-in conditioner i used my body scrub and as you can see i probably have like one more use out of this thing but oh my god, this was the best investment I could have made. This makes my body feel so incredibly soft and smooth. Like, I know I raved about it in my shower routine video, but I just had to give it another shout out. Specifically because I liked that so much, I actually got the anti-aging body balm by OC as well. Looks like this. And this is like a kind of like a unique product. I don't know. Like, it is a balm, but it's a little bit more like of an oily balm. I really don't know how to describe it, but... Oh my god, like I didn't think my skin could get any softer, but then I put this on and it got even softer. So it says it's a liquid body balm, lasting hydration of a lotion, and then anti-aging benefits of a serum. Oh, okay, so it's like a lotion and serum together. But it says it softens and improves appearance of skin elasticity, firms and tightens skin. Whatever this shiz does, oh my god, this is incredible. So I think OC is kind of expensive, so obviously like... You know, if it's in your budget and you want to pamper yourself, I think like maybe getting these two would be a really good investment in yourself because wow, my body feels and looks and smells incredible. Um, so I just had to share that with you guys. But anyways, I'm going to clean up in here and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Um, but drink your water, girls. Drink your water. I've been trying my best to finish at least two of these a day. I used to be so good at drinking water. I really truly don't know what happened. But anyways, I bought this pink Starbucks cup to help me <laughs> hopefully drink more. But anyways, I've been snacking on some pomegranate all morning. Whoever made that TikTok about freezing your pomegranate seeds honestly deserves an award. I normally hate eating frozen fruit because my teeth are so sensitive, but something about frozen pineapple, like it doesn't make your teeth as sensitive. I'm pretty sure I just said pineapple. I meant pomegranate. But anyways, these aren't even frozen anymore because I've been snacking on them all morning. Okay, now I don't really feel like having a proper breakfast this morning. I've been making smoothie bowls a lot lately, but it really is such a struggle to make it. Like I have to stand there like beating at my Vitamix for so long. So instead, I am gonna make a, I was gonna say a grain bowl, but I can't have grains on Whole30. So I'm gonna make a fruit bowl. I'm just gonna cut up a bunch of fruit and put it in a bowl and maybe drizzle some almond butter over it. And that'll be my breakfast. And with the almond butter, it actually makes it quite filling. So I'm bringing you guys down so you can see all the action.
Doesn't that look so delicious? It's basically the smoothie bowl without the smoothie. So I have strawberry, uh, raspberry, blueberries, some dragon fruit. I saw that funny technique I used to spread the almond butter. It just was not coming out the actual um, container properly. So I just smushed it in a Ziploc and spread it over like that. And then just for fun, I added some um, unsweetened coconut flakes and some chia seeds. So this is my hearty breakfast. Moment of truth. Let's see how this actually all tastes. Mm-hmm. Pretty damn good. Completely Whole30. In terms of my Whole30 journey, I've noticed like in the first two weeks, like I'm just past the two week mark, the first two weeks or even the first week and a half, I was starving. Like I was so hungry all the time. I think because like I was so used to eating like super like calorie dense items instead of like dense foods, if that makes sense. Like this is a really dense meal. Like I'm gonna be full after this, but it's actually very low calorie. Whereas like I would eat like a chocolate bar or like snack on like little caramel squares all day. That would be like a hundred calories each. And you know, it would be really filling calorie wise, but not so much density wise or like nutritious at all. So now that it's kind of like switched, I just found myself really hungry. Like I had to eat a lot more to make myself satiated. Um, I genuinely felt insatiable <laughs> for the first like week for sure. Um, but now it's kind of like evened out. I feel like I don't have to eat as much to get full. Um, I'm averaging about like two meals a day with maybe a snack in between. Um, towards the end of the month, I will share kind of like a full maybe what I eat in a day and just like tips on Whole30. But for now, I just want to like focus it all personally without like sharing too much of it because sometimes I'll do that and then fall off a little. <laughs> and like... I don't know, sometimes there's just a lot of pressure with that. So I'm just gonna be sharing it here and there, but I definitely will share a full video once I've really gotten the hang of things and like once my month is over and give like a whole kind of like review on my Whole30 journey this time around. Um, but yeah, so far I feel great. I haven't really started working out yet, which I am gonna do probably in these next two weeks. Um, I just wanted to focus on getting my nutrition right because that's obviously what's most important. But yeah, I'll figure out some sort of easy workout routine before getting into like the strength training and all of that that I used to love to do. Um, but for now, I'm loving this and I'm just gonna snack on my breakfast. It's so late in the day to be calling this breakfast, but it is my first meal of the day. Um, and I think I'm actually gonna catch up on the last episode of Euphoria because it just came out last night. So I will see you guys when I see ya. <laughs> I am just about to head out to Trader Joe's. I haven't been to TJ's in so long. Like I genuinely don't remember the last time I went to Trader Joe's. So some of you guys actually recommended on Instagram to go to TJ's for their acai packets because I got some and they ended up having sugar, like added sugar in them. And apparently the TJ's ones doesn't. So I'm very excited about that. I have my bag and then I got these. Um, I'm gonna feel very LA today. But I got these Grove made reusable produce bags. They look like this. I'm gonna test these out and uh, <laughs> see how they are. I feel like this will add weight to like the total amount though. Like this is kind of like, not heavy, but I feel like it'll add some weight. So I'm just, I mean, I'm talking about like a penny or two. <laughs> Let me stop being dramatic. I actually have some friends coming in next weekend and I feel like we're probably gonna be eating out a lot. So I don't wanna buy too many vegetables cause then they'll just go bad. But I'm just gonna get the basics like broccoli. I'm gonna get some food for tonight. I wanna get either salmon or chicken. Um, and a couple of other things. Luckily the TJ's that I'm going to has kosher meat most of the time. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab that. Let's go. <laughs>
romanticizing cooking for myself again because last year, especially towards the end of the year, I just got so lazy with cooking for myself that I literally didn't. I was ordering, you know, takeout. I was ordering Uber Eats. I was just, just everything. I just was not cooking for myself and like that is not acceptable this year. So, quick little haul from TJ's. I got a lot of things. Hopefully I can finish all of this, but I'm actually really excited. I'm gonna make this soup recipe that I saw randomly on my reels um, this week, but I'm gonna kind of like give it an Aisha twist. So it's gonna be a butternut squash soup. So I just got the already cut up butternut squash because it just saves a lot more time. And I did end up finding the unsweetened acai. So I think I'm gonna make an acai bowl tomorrow and um, see how that goes. I also got this veggies and green salad kit. Um, it comes with like a honey ginger dressing, which I'm obviously not gonna have because I'm doing Whole30. Um, but yeah, I just got this salad and then I got this green dressing. This one over here, because I've been seeing it kind of like all over TikTok, but this is the Trader Joe's version. Um, and it has like avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, garlic, and a bunch of other things. And it doesn't have sugar or like anything that isn't Whole30 approved, so. I'm very excited about that. And then when I was checking out, the Trader Joe's guy was actually saying that it's really good. I got some yellow zucchini or yellow squash um, to make for something this week. And then I kind of want to make, um, I got really into making those like Emily, I forget what her last name is, but you know, the TikTok girl that makes the salmon bowls. Um, I love that and I can't have rice right now. So I just picked up some cauliflower rice and I'm gonna give it a try and see if it tastes similar. Obviously the texture is gonna be different, but hopefully this works because I have a ton of seaweed, I'm pretty sure still. And then I got some um, salmon, which I think I'm gonna cook salmon tonight. Got some broccoli, more butternut squash, my little reusable produce containers. And here I have some red pepper because I'm gonna do some roasted red pepper in the oven. And then I also got some onions, because I'm also adding that to the soup, and then some garlic, which you guessed it, I am also adding to the soup. Uh, and yeah, and then I got some of these for snacks. <laughs> these are some plantain chips. I love the Trader Joe's like jerk seasoning plantain chips, but those unfortunately have sugar in them, and these do not. So this is just for like when I'm craving something crunchy, or I can like, eat it with my butternut squash soup tonight, which I feel like I'm gonna do. Bananas for my smoothie bowls. I actually don't love bananas, but I like them in my smoothie bowl because I feel like, I don't know, I just I just do. <laughs> um, I've got some blueberries just for breakfast and for my smoothie bowls. And then I got a bunch of spices and just like seasonings. I'm not really sure why, I just felt like it. Um, I got some black peppercorns because I don't know, I notice a difference in taste when I use freshly ground uh, black pepper versus like the one that's already ground. So I got this for like, you know, soups and like garnishes and stuff. I got some lemon pepper. Um, I haven't had lemon pepper in such a long time, so I had to re-up on that. Um, I got some 21 seasoning salute, which is actually one of my favorite seasonings from Trader Joe's. So I like having that in my pantry. And then this is a new one by Trader Joe's. I've never seen it before, but it's a, a Georgian seasoning blend. Um, it's called Ajika or Ajika. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a spicy, garlicky, and deeply aromatic. And it had an ingredient um, that we cook a lot with in like my Haredi culture, which is fenugreek. So, I don't know, I was just kind of curious. Um, I don't know what this will taste like or smell like or anything, but, oh wow. That's actually crazy because it smells exactly like the type of spice that we, oh my God, my mouth is watering. But the type of spice that we use in our traditional Hedity meals. That's so weird, but I'm glad I picked it up. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got. That's basically what my hauls have been looking like on Whole30, just a bunch of, you know, fruits and vegetables because I can't have anything else. So I'm gonna put this away and um, get started on making that soup. But before I go, I randomly went into Abercrombie yesterday to return something and I found this candle because, okay, I'm sure I'm not alone here, but like the scent of Abercrombie is unmatched. Like it just smells so good. And they have a candle in the exact same scent that they spray their uh, store with. So, you know, I had to get it. Oh my God, and how could I forget the flowers? I decided to get pink flowers. I normally do like a very neutral 
flower, but I don't know, I was feeling in a pink mood today, so I'm gonna make a little arrangement after dinner. Romanticizing cooking for myself again. Oh my god, I think I snapped guys. This tastes amazing I haven't gotten like a full spoonful yet, but I've like dipped my fingers in it and it tastes so good And I made that look like a hella gourmet like wow I'm definitely gonna have to share this recipe with you guys um, Now that I've kind of like tested it and made it my own it's so cr Ugh, Anyways, I could keep talking about it. But anyways, this is my dinner. I have some air fried salmon um, and then I want to try a little bit of that um, green dressing from Trader Joe's and then I just have some plantain chips to maybe dip in here or just have on the side. This might be a lot of food but I haven't really eaten since um, the berries this morning so I feel like I could probably take it. <laughs> so let's try all of this out. I'm so excited. I look so crusty right now but we are going to ignore that. Okay, I am so excited to try this out. I think this might be the best thing I've ever made. How did I make that? <laughs> what? I don't think I've ever been that speechless. It's just like, there's so many flavors all in here. And I added a little bit of spice as well, so it's like warm at the back of my throat. Oh my god. I definitely have to share this recipe with you guys. I can't even begin to explain how good this is. I'd be fine with just this, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna try it with a plantain chip. Mmm. Honestly, it's good on its own, though. Alright, I wanna try the salad next. Mmm. Mmm. That salad dressing is so good. I was just thinking. This better not squash soup would be really good with some pasta like as a sauce or something. It almost gives me like vodka sauce vibes. Obviously, I don't drink no vodka, but like you know how like vodka sauce is like creamy or like rose sauce where it's like pinky or I can't have pasta right now, but I'm gonna see if I can find an alternative or something. Romanticize cooking again. Okay, that's what we're gonna do for 2022. Salmon cooked to perfection. This is a 15 out of 10 meal. Like, what? I know I'm being mad dramatic right now, but I'm just having a moment. I really am. Thank you. 
I had such a lovely me day today. I wish every weekend was a long weekend. It truly is just a different level of peace, but oh my god, today felt really good just like finally grocery shopping and like cooking again. Like I'm really excited to just continue this because that butternut squash was life-changing and I cannot wait to share the recipe with you guys very soon. Um, but yeah, just a reminder to take your me days because it really is a recharge. Like tomorrow is Tuesday, but technically it's the first, you know, start of the work week and I'm just feeling really inspired and like refreshed. I'm just going to spend the rest of the night <laughs> watching Emily in Paris. This show is so cringe, but like it's one of those like guilty pleasure shows. So I just started it and um, I'll probably watch a couple episodes before I go to bed tonight, but skin is skinning tonight. Wow, it is looking super glowy and just like smooth and beautiful. Um, I do want to give a thank you to Bias once again for sponsoring a portion of today's video and just always being such a lovely partner. I've been working with them for, this is now I think my third or fourth year um, you know, with my partnership with Biosans, which is like so, so special to me because I just love the brand so much. And, you know, I know a lot of you guys love it too. So I love being able to share, you know, such amazing, good quality, clean products with you guys. So I am going to enjoy the rest of the night. I hope you guys do as well or enjoy the rest of your day, depending on when you are watching this. Um, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm so excited to continue 2022 with you guys. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mwah.